What's going on, family? It's Trinity Tribe here. Back to give a quick general read. This message is for Scorp. Scorpio. It's transformation season. I can feel it in the air. I can feel it. I can feel it. All right. Transformation season. All right. Um, I'm going to start off with one empowering question for you guys. Just to get your... Um, your brain going a little bit for whoever out there needs it. All right. Let's see what's going on here with Scorpio, Holy Spirit. Hopefully I could get something that can help somebody today. All right. Got a couple errands to run or whatever. All right. Let's see what's going on with the Scorpios. One empowering question, Holy Spirit, something that can help somebody out there today. Archangel Michael, I ask that you come down as I channel a message for the sign of Scorpio. All right, we have, what are those things that make me feel good while I am doing them? All right, Scorpio, so today, that's what transformation season is about anyway. Um, Finding things that makes you happy. A lot of us have uh, spent a lot of time... Um, putting in energy into others and we've neglected ourselves so at this time spirit wants you to get into the things that make you feel good all right it's like some sort of a completion of a cycle here whatever you want to do there will be justice around it i see a lot of happy times and stability coming too with the full card this is something that could have been stressing you out for a while but it's something here that makes you happy that's going to bring you wish fulfillment spirit wants you to start diving into that all right, let's see what's going on here. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to pull from here before I get those. Let's see. Um, so that's what Spirit wants you to sit down and think about. What makes you happy today? All right, because ultimately when you find things that make you happy, uh, your problems or things that's weighing you down, those things like tend to just fall to the wayside. All right, let's see what's going on here with Scorpio. Anything that can help you raise your vibration today. Spirit is needing you to dive into that. All right, yeah, we have, have you been feeling depressed? Do you have mood swings? It is a time to restore well-being. A joyful outlook on life can be yours. Take the necessary steps to shift your focus from what troubles you to what makes you happy. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the confirmation. All right. All right. So somebody out there could be feeling depressed at this time or you're having mood swings. Maybe you're um juggling back and forth as to what's your assignment or whatever the case may be. But spirit doesn't want you stressed. Spirit doesn't want you weighed down, uh, overburdened by anything that's occurring in your life. All right. Um, whatever is occurring at this time is supposed to be happening. It's supposed to help you transform. But for you, um, in order to get the uh, resolution to what you're looking for, spirit needs you to transmute that energy for somebody out there that you may be experiencing into something positive at this time. So whatever makes you happy, start getting into them things. If you like to work out, go to the gym, go outside in nature, uh, go take a run. If you like to dance, get up and, and shake your groove thing. Do what you want to do. All right. If you like to write, rap, sing, whatever, however, whatever makes you happy at this time. Shafit and the birds make me happy. Whenever I'm feeling low, I go right outside. I go feed all the birds and then I, I do my praying out there. So for somebody out there, get into your, um, get into whatever makes you happy. It's the simplistic things for me. All right. Do you need more sweetness in your life? Are you gentle with yourself and your words and your thoughts? Treat yourself with kindness, cultivate loving words. I mean, loving friends, family, environment, be your own best friend and the best friend you can be to others so this came out for sagittarius all right um last well i re recorded last night but i put it out this morning this um came out for sagittarius uh, last night so some of you guys could be connecting with a sagittarius um but for some of you guys, there could be something that you're beating yourself down about at this time. Spirit wants you to replace whatever you're beating yourself down about. I don't know. It could be your thoughts here, something that you're thinking. All right. Spirit wants you to, you know, redirect your focus at this time. Don't think about anything negative, anything that's making you depressed or feel depressed, detached from it at this time. All right. And just speak sweetness into your life. Tell yourself who you are. I am beautiful. I'm loving. I am kind. I'm caring. I am worthy. Speak these things into yourself. Speak life into yourself. 
Are you dealing with an inflamed uh, or imbalanced situation? Do you have imbalances in the body? Balance your emotions through journaling, exercise, and healthy communication. Take care of your mind, body, and spirit. Yoga and meditation are beneficial, and we just spoke about this. So something that you're upset about could be causing some sort of inflammation within your body. Spirit needs you to release it. Somebody out there may need to change their diet. I don't know. Something may need to be done in moderation. All right. But whatever you're, you're feeling here, express it through your journaling and express it through your creative, your creative arts, whatever you like to do. Because a lot of people um, don't understand how people transmute their energy. Like you may be upset today and you get up and you start dancing or something like that. Spirit is needing you to do that because like, you know, you, you're releasing negative energy in your in your bringing room in for new energy to come in and get you that ultimate fulfillment whatever you're looking for holy spirit can i have one more card for the sign of scorpio scorpio all right so we have are you procrastinating take action and complete what you have planned speak up for yourself follow through and take the necessary steps to see your projects to fruition have confidence in your own ability to make things happen all right so somebody's procrastinating on something um and i just heard i understood the assignment so it was an assignment that you're supposed to be working on something that you've been planting within your um subconscious membrane for a while all right you could be talking negatively to yourself about what you're trying to step into or whatever the case may be spirit needs you to start bringing whatever you're thinking about into fruition don't let your your thoughts um conquer your movement all right we have, uh, what do you wish to express? How do you wish to express yourself? Is there something you need to say to someone? Expression comes in many forms. We just talked about that. Meditate on what you would like to say and then say it. Explore Native American spiritual teachings. So Native American spiritual teachings is significant to somebody. Somebody could be Native American or have Native American um, blood. But it's something that somebody needs to say here and they're procrastinating on it and it's causing them to have mood swings and depression. Spirit needs you to communicate to whoever you're trying to communicate. Um, you know, the worst that anybody could say, and I said this a few weeks ago, was yes or no. I mean, a lot of people are fearful of rejection, but at the end of the day, would you rather um, hold hold and linger on to your thoughts and weigh it down? Or would you rather be straightforward, make the approach, do what you got to do? Because whatever, like, it's, it just shows growth within yourself. Like if you're fearful to communicate something to somebody, it means that you're, you're kind of not grown up. I want to say somebody just needs to accept here that possibly communicating uh, or showing your feelings here is a sign of growth, not weakness or vulnerability. All right. A lot of people feel like um, sometimes uh, them this could possibly be making amends with somebody here. All right. People be thinking like that type of stuff is weakness. But my thing about it is if you're the type of person who can see both sides of a story, that's a strong individual. All right. Because somebody could be blaming somebody for something at this time. But, you know, you got to release that. There's no such thing as blame. We got to take accountability because a lot of us um, tend to see one side of a situation and we tend to neglect the other person's side. So it's like, I just heard negotiations, all right? So we have freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. And it's like, whatever somebody's wanting to communicate here or whatever somebody's wanting to step into, this is going to cause you to have freedom, freedom of, uh, of thoughts, freedom uh, within your mind, body, and spirit. Somebody needs to have the courage here to do or say whatever they have to say because it could be causing health issues because possibly somebody's impatient about something or maybe somebody's impatient. They think maybe somebody feels like somebody should approach them or it's something like that. And it's like, somebody here just needs to step up all right i don't know if this is a masculine or a feminine all right we have envy i see i mean i am the same as everybody but with different challenges so i don't know scorpio if somebody here and we have pride yeah somebody lives in ego and pride here maybe it's something that somebody's lacking and somebody has or um somebody could even need help uh, and we have doubt or somebody doubted that they needed somebody. So they set themselves free. It's something here. But spirit wants you to know that um, nobody is better than anybody. Nobody's better. Um, everybody is the same. When you have that mindset of um, everybody who you encounter, um, 
can resemble you in some way, shape, or form is about accepting people for who they are. All right, and we have perseverance because I sense here somebody wants to save a situation. Saving a situation can make somebody happy, or they feel like here somebody could bring them abundance or something like that. But somebody could be having low self esteem issues. I don't know if this is approaching somebody, I don't know. If it's getting the energy to do something here or work with somebody, it's indecision. Somebody's indecisive here about setting something free or setting themselves free. This could be a mindset. This could be a relationship. But somebody feels like somebody's a part of their destiny with purpose here. Or somebody here needs to free themselves from some sort of thoughts or actions to get on this purpose here. Yeah, and somebody's sad about a situation. I sent somebody sad. All right, a lot of emotions up and down. I just heard um, little baby um, been through all these. No, that's Nipsey Hussle. So somebody got the Nipsey Hussle spirit. He said been through all these motions up and down like a seesaw. So somebody could have been in two minds about a person here. And we have self-esteem. Maybe somebody thought somebody's self-esteem was egotistical and it could have gotten rid of this person. And, and we had worry at the bottom of the deck in peace. But now they're finding out that this person is their peace. It's something like that, Scorpio. But um. If somebody feel like they've done something wrong or they want to make amends or they want to work with somebody or whatever the case may be, spirit is needing somebody to communicate about this today. All right. Let's see, Scorpio. What do we have here? All right. So we have the page of wands. This could be some sort of inspirational speaker. This could be somebody who tells the truth. This could be a whistleblower. Um, we have the six of cups and we have the moon. So I don't know. Somebody here is um, having issues with a family member um, about something that they have deep emotions for about somebody possibly doing or saying or somebody here could possibly even want to express how much of a soul connection they feel for somebody somebody has deep emotions for somebody but i don't know if this is a situation if this is your partner if your partner is a little jealous of you or this partner feels like you're too free or you have too much and maybe they feel like they're not enough we got the queen of pentacles at the bottom of the deck so you could be somebody who chases their goals who gets bread whatever the case may be somebody's really independent here very resilient all right a leo could be involved in this or a leo could be prideful pisces cancer scorpio sagittarius aries but um somebody here has been resilient here all right and it's like somebody here is, is suppressing their emotions for somebody who they deeply care for and maybe this person was in their head about somebody at one point in time but somebody's coming out of their mind and somebody moved forward i'm sensing here maybe somebody was left out or somebody was outcasted but um it seems as though somebody's pushing the confidence to move forward through a certain situation and maybe somebody wants to speak up now but they're indecisive here about Maybe this person's transformation and maybe they feel like this person won't give a fuck or, you know, time could have passed by or it, there could have been some secrets that's been held. And maybe somebody wants to speak up about this at this time, but it's like somebody's suppressing it all. Yeah, and it's causing a lot of stress with the Nine of Swords. I sense here a lot of staying up at night, crying or stressed out here, worried about a certain situation and an outcome. And we have the Ace of Pentacles and a World card because it's like somebody wants to come forward with the Six of Swords to somebody. I sense here somebody had malice intentions for somebody in the past, but it's like somebody wants to reverse whatever has transpired here. But maybe this person just like is very fearful of rejection. Um, that's what I'm getting from here. It could be some sort of family secrets that's been held too. that's keeping somebody up or keeping somebody stressed here, like holding on to something that they were supposed to speak up a long time ago. This is like causing somebody like heavy emotions and um, spirit is saying somebody need to push forward here because this could be something that makes somebody happy or a person makes somebody happy here at this time. Definitely could be work related with the three of pentacles here and the three of wands. It's like somebody's feeling stuck here um wanting to come forward to somebody but in the in the back of their mind it's a, it's a lot of thoughts I'm, I'm sensing this is internal conflict about speaking up something and we got the ten of pentacles and the hierophant it could be about family this could be about marriage here or somebody possibly wants to step up and be the person that somebody needs at this time but like i said there could have been some sort of conflict here that has arised or i don't know if this was manipulation or maybe somebody wanted somebody to feel low in spirits and they express something here to somebody and somebody's healed from it. 
because they got the clarity and truth about whoever this person was. Maybe they found out this person who was egotistical and, and selfish, rude, and arrogant was really insecure about themselves at the study in them. I sense here somebody ghosted somebody because somebody's self-esteem was too high. Yeah. Queen of Wands, somebody who's very sexy, powerful, magical, mystical, beautiful. Some of you guys could be dealing with a fire sign here. Yeah, somebody wants to take action at this time with the um possibly marriage or a high level commitment, but somebody wants to take action. Somebody also may be wanting to reach out to somebody to get some sort of confidence or they want to take action towards an offer that they possibly overlooked. I'm hearing. Yeah, we got the um the hermit. So it's like somebody's watching somebody. Somebody also watched somebody transform through some internal conflict because with the hermit and the five of wands it's like somebody watched them in a star like somebody watched somebody like battle with themselves and transform right before their eyes here and we got the king of swords so it's like somebody's thinking of how they can come forward and heal something or maybe somebody was like real dominating and controlling here which could have caused a lot of um yeah it could have caused the ending here with the ten of swords This king of swords may want to speak some truth about an action that they've taken. We got one king here, and then we have two knights. So I don't know if this is a group thing. Yeah, we had the two of pentacles and a page of swords. Somebody's definitely watching somebody here, wanting to take action. It's stressing themselves out by not taking action. And I don't know if this person's in a situation where they want to come and make an offer, but they can't. So somebody's like weighing out their options at this time. Last message here, Holy Spirit. It's just a lot going on here. And it seems like it's like internal conflict more than anything. Because it's like somebody could be feeling like jaded about somebody else's healing is what I'm hearing. Yeah, we had the Magician, the Three of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and the Five of Swords in reverse with the Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck and the King of Cups. So it's like somebody here treated somebody out of malice and t like, like somebody was really rude to somebody, all right? And it's like they manifested heartbreak for somebody who was possibly healing at the time. And it's like this Queen of Cups, because it's one king here and one queen. We got the Queen of Cups and the King of Swords. So it's like somebody here was really loving, nurturing, kind, and caring. And then it's like somebody here was only like basing uh, decisions off of a, a off of a headspace rather than their heart. And I feel like this King of Swords here was very manipulative. Something that they spoke to somebody here or they caused possibly for somebody to feel insecure. Somebody could have felt betrayed. Maybe that's why somebody says something here. But spirit is just like, you know, you got to see both sides of the story. Yeah, we have abundance. Somebody feels like the situation can grow, though, no matter what. Or somebody's heartbreak um, has brought abundance into their lives, possibly because of how they transform. Yeah, this was perfect timing. It's like whoever done this here, um, whoever's holding a grudge, somebody needs to let it go. Because it's like this person who came into somebody's life. And maybe brought it up and down. I feel like you guys were supposed to tr help transform each other some way, somehow. We had perfect time in there. All right. Um, so I'm sensing here somebody just let something go. It's like one person let something go. I feel like it's the Queen of Cups who's no longer worried about what transpired. But it's like this King of Swords can't get over this ending. And they're watching. And this is really stressing somebody out here. All right. Because they feel like here with the success in reverse... This could have been something good. This could have been something great. But possibly in the past, they didn't see it in that aspect, right? But now they do. So it's like, damn, what am I going to do? Spirit is saying, let go of ego and pride. Speak up. Speak your truth. Last few messages. Yeah, we have no need to worry. It's like it's a win-win situation. But maybe somebody can't see that. Yeah. All right. Somebody here could be trying to improve some sort of health conditions maybe this person's in a knight of wands energy and um they could be doing something possibly too much they could be affecting their health i'm sensing it could be stress but spirit is saying remain positive no matter what keep your spirits on the ups yeah there's something better and we have it up to you so it was like 
whatever somebody chooses to do here, it's like spirit is supporting you 100%. It's just like, it's a matter of somebody getting out of their head, getting off their ass and, and moving forward. Yeah, we have a win-win um, out, outcome is in the forecast. So it's like, if you stay, you're going to win. If you go, you're going to win. It's like the decision is up to you. It's like, what do you want? All right. I sense here, maybe somebody need to raise their vibration um, by doing something that makes them happy. This may give you the confidence to approach this person. We have conclusions are within reach and we have a personal issue reaches a resolution. All right. Somebody could have wanted to mold somebody into who they wanted to be. Some of you guys could be dealing with a cancer. All right. And maybe somebody transformed when somebody's no longer around. It's something like that. Or this person hid themselves with the moon card. They disguised who they really were. Maybe this person wasn't confident at the time. Something like that. Yeah, we have a new star that's coming. It's, it's like success is all in the air. Somebody needs to look at the bigger picture. Some of you guys can be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Cancer, or a Gemini. All right. This message here, Holy Spirit. Somebody here, though, whatever you're planning on, whatever you're doing or working on, this is going to bring you um, some abundance, something very lucrative. So Spirit needs you to put time into it. Yeah, your dreams need a practical plan. Surrender to the divine, and we have luck is on your side. I'm telling you, emotions are running high. Somebody's really emotional about something here um, that has transpired, but I guess they're suppressing all of these emotions. Holy Spirit, can I have a quick message here? Then we're going to see what's coming in love for you, Scorpio. Yeah, we have thin line between love and hate. See, somebody like really loves somebody, but it's like maybe somebody was envious of what somebody had or the qualities or the self-confidence that somebody carried. So they did something negative here. All right. Some of you guys could be dealing with sibling rivalry at this time. All right. You made me believe that anything is possible. So somebody wants you to know that, uh, Scorpio. All right, somebody could have restored somebody's confidence here, dreams, and put them on the right path by being arrogant. All right, we have, will you marry me? And we have, I wish I could have uh, shown you how I really felt about you. I was damaged from my previous connection. So yeah, somebody could have been guarded here. All right. Somebody could have went back to a high school sweetheart. Somebody could be dealing with somebody from the past here, but they they really don't want this. I am heartbroken without you. Things have not been the same since you left. All right. So, yeah, somebody's emotional. These are the things that they want to say. But they, this person, like, doesn't feel comfortable possibly expressing themselves. Yeah, strong partnership and alliance is forming. I told you somebody feels like this will be good here all right somebody could be dealing with some mean girls somebody some mean girls who are insecure about themselves these are the type of women that bully successful women and they treat men like objects dispose of you if you aren't making um or meeting the criteria so somebody could have done that but we have i'm so embarrassed of my decision making i made impulsive decisions that have affected my stability mentally physically spiritually and emotionally somebody just needs to speak about this yeah somebody's a part of the new world order all right, learn the lessons, then leave. Don't keep going through the same toxic situations, family members and friends. So maybe one person learned the uh, lesson here and then the other one didn't. All right, last message here for the sign of Scorpio. Then we're going to see what's coming in love and who you guys could be dealing with. All right. Paranoid fear tactics to control the mind. So maybe somebody was doing something like this here on their partner. You were my number one fan supporter and I pushed you away for 3D bullshit. Things that never cared for me, but what I had to offer. All right. We also have older women jealous of younger women. Willie Lynch theory. The old hates all for the young. All right. Light skin against dark skin. It could be something like that. We have low life. How low will you go? And then we have fatal car accident. So I don't know. With somebody wishing death or a car accident on somebody or somebody was like doing something through the mind to affect somebody's mental health. But it seemed like somebody's conquered whatever uh, somebody was putting out here. Yeah, spirit is saying somebody need to let go of control issues. You can't control anybody's destiny, how they move, what they say, how they dress, what they do. But it's definitely a high level of chemistry here amongst two people. 
and we have it it's safe, it is safe for you to love there's a strong magnetic attraction here so somebody's like feeling deeply attracted to somebody at this time and maybe that scares somebody um not to come forward here yeah we have new love a new person has stared your romantic feelings so this could have been a short-lived connection that really didn't get off of the ground but it's like somebody's angels is pushing them towards somebody at this time we had wedding all right this situation involves marriage all right so this masculine could be a little bit shy and this this female could be alpha and domineering knows what she wants and goes goes and gets it and speaks so yeah worth, worth waiting for so somebody could be saving themselves for you scorpio at this time possibly for marriage or maybe this is what you want somebody to do or they want them they want you to do this for them it's something like that last message yeah we have romantic feelings it's like as time went on somebody's feelings have um really uh surfaced and maybe somebody's not used to dealing with these type of emotions so they really don't know how to handle themselves at this time a lot of stress on this person somebody needs to release channel it i don't know if you um if you can do journaling if you could work out if you could do music yeah we have scorpio some of you guys could be dealing with the, another scorpio or this is just your energy heavy here all right holy spirit can we have a message here for the sign of scorpio some of you guys could be dealing with the virgo maybe this virgo was um that light skin dark skin shit i don't know somebody tried to create something here like some sort of wedge or maybe they wanted it to be like some sort of battle between light skin and dark skin some old goofy shit like that stupid shit cancer oh anything else here we got Scorpio, Cancer, so heavy water energy. We have Taurus, Gemini, and Sagittarius. So you could be dealing with one of these people. One of these people could have been involved in your demise or however way this goes. Or somebody wants to speak something up here um, amongst somebody. All right. Or your partner could be dealing with one of these people at this time. So that's all I have for you, Scorpio. So the main message of today is make sure you do whatever makes you happy. And it's something that you need to speak up and get off of your heart. The most high is telling you to do it. It's going to make you feel better about the situation. Nine times out of ten, you're going to see a good result from here, from what these cards are saying. Because it's like somebody's holding on here to some hostility and somebody else has let let it go i sense the person who let it go was able to move forward but the person who possibly is holding back their truth or whatever the case may be this is causing somebody to be possibly bitter or angry and at the end of the day when you're operating out of those emotions you're really not able to move forward so that's all i have for you guys scorpio if any of this resonated today like share and subscribe take care y'all have a blessed day